Mark Hackle with us right now, so who cares about Ryan Seacrest, right? Yeah, I'm with you on that. Yeah, so um, uh, how are the roads, first of all, getting in here today? A little sloppy. You know, it tends to be this time of year, for some reason, the auto show, uh, during this media preview week, you get some very cold weather or some of the snow. So, but, you know, we're kind of used to it, and we, we made it. Good. So this is, uh, you know, kind of, I guess, the first snowstorm of the season that finally started coming now. I mean, it's been, we've gotten all the way through December uh, in, in great form. First of all, for a, for a guy like you who has to figure out how to spend the money for an entire season, it's probably nice to get December off. I tell you, the biggest concern we're having right now is people are believing that the state took care of the problem with road funding and they did not right, it's right. based on some kind of a future promise so be prepared this year we're going to still see the trucks are going to be out there they're going to be plowing but shortly after that they're going to be patching holes and this is going to be going on for the next couple of years so it's a challenge don't be mad at your road crews out there the funding isn't there but they're going to do the doggone best they can just try to get used so, to it there they will okay so you've had a chance how, how long have you been here long enough to actually get a little bit of a look around so far only about an hour and i gotta mm -hmm. tell you and i'm not allowed to say this but i gotta say it you know the, yep. for, the american car companies are doing a great job but right, some right. of the foreign cars oh are yeah Absolutely yeah. gorgeous. Well, but you gotta you gotta understand if it weren't for the the push from the foreign Love car it. makers, I mean, uh, uh, you know, remember the American car makers had a few lean years back in the day when I think they just took it for granted that people were going to buy it. Right. And then all of a sudden you had the Toyotas and the Honda stepped up and started producing these cars, and I think that kicked everybody in gear. And then. And in Macomb County, we're fortunate over the right. last five years, billion dollar investments from Ford, Chrysler, and as well General Motors. Uh, the actual total investment with them as well as some of the other, uh, I guess, tier suppliers. You're looking at $5.3 billion of investment in Macomb County alone in automotive. So we're excited because we realize they're back, they're back with a purpose, mm -hmm. and uh, they're really transforming the industry with what they're creating. And it's not just about building and designing a nice car, fuel efficient. They're looking at mobility, which is the new wave, if you will, of, of interest and in what's going on. And I'm telling you, Southeast Michigan is poised to be a world leader when it comes to mobility, moving people around the entire area right. and uh, throughout the country. So. Well, uh, one of the buzzwords also is autonomous uh, driving. And I know that there's some things going on right now in Macomb County where they're looking at that. In the tech center alone. Right. I mean, they're, they're a little campus, their little compound. Right. They're actually using that campus as a test site for that. So the autonomous vehicle is seeing the people drive around the campus, driving their employees around the campus. And in Macomb County, we're fortunate because even when they finally decide to come out and hit the streets with what we did and what we created with our Comtech Center and having the infrastructure in place, I think we're going to be able to tie in with that mobility, if you will. And that's what we're using, mobility along with autonomous vehicles, of getting people to transfer around the area without actually having to use hands on the wheel. I don't if I'm ready for that. I gotta be I gotta tell you, as a kid growing up, I love to have my hands on that wheel and I love driving and I love the challenges that go along with it. Well, I, I took a ride a with you last year if you remember in the uh, the, yeah, okay. the challenger uh, yeah, uh, simulator not, not and I think you ran us off the road a couple yeah, okay. of times. I'll, I'll admit that there was a challenge. Yeah it was, <laughs> it was a, it was a challenger <laughs> challenge but uh, it, I could have used a little bit of autonomy there. Yeah. With somebody else driving it for me. And you bring <laughs> up a, a point about the autonomous driving is that uh, eventually in order for them to work accurately in some form or another Pretty much the world has to be mapped in order for these cars to understand where they exist in them. And that'll be up to uh, guys like you who run counties and cities to sit there and, and help coordinate that and say we can map our city for these cars to work. And, and have an infrastructure in place mm -hmm. and working with them. So government has to be prepared to see what it is that the industry is looking forward to and what they're doing and where they're headed. And fortunately in Macomb County, we're seeing that. We're seeing that it isn't just about you know the auto industry creating jobs and opportunities. It's trying to figure out you know what, within current, current jurisdictions that you have, how do you get around and how do we start moving around? How do we move people around with these autonomous vehicles? And that connectivity with some of the infrastructure we have in place is there. It exists. So we're working real well with the industry itself to figure out what can we do as a government, uh, as a place to help create that transformation. So we're poised. We have, uh, we. I think we are right now in an area where we're going to be able to lead the country, lead the world in the autonomous vehicle and mobility by working together with the industry. All right, so uh, last question. You've had a chance to look around a little bit here. I mean, what has caught your attention? You know what, uh, so far I haven't been around uh, to see everything, but uh, I have to say right now, and I'm not I'm not a big uh, Corvette guy, right. but uh, that new vet that's out there, uh, the blue one that they have, uh, that is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I absolutely walked by it, it was eye-catching, and I'm thinking, and I'm not really into the blue color. I'm a black, I like the black color cars. Yeah, it's, it's that, that police influence. Boy, I'll tell you what, that thing stood out. So, yeah. so far, that's my number one, but uh, uh, I've, I've got uh, a whole lot of showroom to look at still. All right, Macomb Executive Mark Hackle, thank you so much Thanks, for coming Steve. by. Always a pleasure to see you. you too. And if we have another simulator ride, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll drive this time. Yeah, it's your turn. It's my turn to drive. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Thanks, Steve. Thank you. Always a pleasure having Mark Hackle okay. stop by. Thanks.